Before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys have pushed me up over 500 subscribers. I'm trying to get to a thousand. So like I said before, tell a friend to tell a friend to go ahead and subscribe. Once I reach a thousand subscribers, I am giving away a baby bottle of blends. And the only thing you have to do is subscribe and enter the words baby B in any of the comments section of any of the videos that I've shot previously or this current video. So this is letter A, it was dumped 5-12-22. So if that is a date that is near and dear to your heart, go ahead and enter for a chance to win. Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host Myron. Today, we've got a brand that I've never had before. I had to get this thing on the channel though because I walk into the store and I see Cream of Kentucky. I am looking all through the bourbon aisle. I mean, just scouring for something new. Thanks to my babe, my wife, she looked out for a brother for Valentine's Day. If you saw the short, you saw the smile on my face. It was ear to ear. Once again, babe, thanks. Look, we've got Cream of Kentucky here. This is a 100% rye. Never had it before. Can't wait to get into it for you guys. Bottom drop, bottom drop. This is a brand that I've never had on the channel before. So when I walk into the store and I go to the bourbon aisle and I'm looking up and down the bourbon aisle and I see stuff that I'm like, man, I had this before, I had that before, I get to the end cap and what do I see? I see Cream of Kentucky. Now I saw the price tag and I look at my wife and she looks at me and it's 70 bucks. And she told me get it. She said, babe, I told you to get whatever bottle you wanted of course, I wasn't gonna <laughs> get whatever bottle I wanted, but she said, I told you to get whatever bottle you wanted. And she said, look, I don't mind. It is a Valentine's Day present for me. One of the few that she gave me. Actually, the new wedding band she gave to me. So she really looked out for a brother this Valentine's Day. And believe it or not, the bottle cost more than the band. I am a simple dude. We were walking through the store. I saw a ring that I like, and she, she surprised the brother with it. So. Anyway, back to the uh, whiskey at hand. Now, this is a 100% rye whiskey. It's a different type of rye. It's a Ryman rye. And they said that this is a, it's a batch of small barrels. So it's 50 to 60 barrels in each bottling. Now, it gives you all of the aromas and things like that. I don't want to read those on camera because I don't want them to kind of interfere with the notes that I'm about to get. So let's get some in the glass. I'll pour it up for you. Get some nose and notes, some tasting notes. You know how I do it. Let's get into the nose. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. That is, that is a very nice, great note. Raisins, plums, like a great juice. I mean, it's it's very fruit forward. This is very fruit forward. I really do, and I'm starting to pick up just a little bit of those earthy notes. Let's get into the palate. Wow, that is just nothing but raisins and grape and grape juice on the palate. It's almost like a grape jam. Um, some of those earthy notes, they start to roll from the middle of the tongue to the back of the tongue. I mean, it is all sweet up front. From the front of the tongue to the mid, it is nothing but grape juice, raisins, plums. And then once it gets to the back, you pick up a little bit of that char, you pick up a lot of those earthy notes. It's a slight grassy in the earthy note, but it's not all grass. It just, it's more of this earthiness to it. Let's go back into the nose. Yeah, once I go back into the nose, more oak comes out. Just a touch of oak comes out. I do get more of the grassy notes that come out. But like I said, it is just very fruit forward. It has a very sweet nose. Everything in the nose in the beginning transferred over to the palate. I am still picking up those grape and raisin notes. Let's go back into the palate one time. Yeah, on the second sip, more of those earthy notes come forward. So a lot more char 
and earthy notes come forward on the second sip. It is still sweet, very sweet. It's sweet from the front to the mid. Then, like I said, once it gets to that mid, it rolls into an earthy note. And it's allowing a lot more of those char notes to come through. So, let's get into the breakdown. I think I'm going to pour a little bit more because I wanted you guys to see the color on this thing. I mean, for it to be 100 proof, it's it's got a nice little darkness to it. It's not... It's not super light and it's not super dark. It's kind of like in between. And I'll try to zoom in on that so you can see that. But as far as the breakdown goes, being 100 proof, being a Jim Rutledge product, it is cream of Kentucky. It has a great name behind it. Is it worth the chase? And I am going to say that this rye, 100% rhyme and rye uh, whiskey is not worth the chase. And I don't mean to let anybody down. It is not blowing my socks off. Is it good? Yes. Is it very fruit forward? Yes. Uh, but it is not blowing my socks off. So is it worth over retail? No. I don't think it's worth over retail. It was 70 bucks. 70 bucks, I would actually consider a fair price. It could come down some, maybe 60, because look, you've got a 100% malted ride that I've, re that I've already reviewed on the channel. New Riff has put out. I thought that thing was creamy. I thought the mouthfeel was a little better than this. It was a little more viscous in the mouth. This right here at 70 bucks, it is still not a bad product, but there are so many other products that you can get for under 70 bucks. And going into the retail price, I found a spot that had the old label, Old Forester, which I am a big fan of. This thing right here, $60. This thing right here, this is the uh, Tumbling Dice that I just recently reviewed on the channel. That is about $55. Uh, this one was a little more on the pricey side. This right here is the Four Rows of Single Barrel Store Pick. So, of course, it had to be on the table because Jim Rutledge used to be uh, the master distiller at Four Roses. You know, he is a legend in the game, so I needed to get one of his products in my hands. And this right here is on the table because I picked it up <laughs> with the uh, Crib of Kentucky. But getting into would I give it to a newbie? At 100 proof, I would definitely give that to a newbie. I think it is very fruit forward. I did not pick up a lot of uh, burning alcohol in it. I actually didn't pick up any alcohol in the nose of the glass itself or on the palate. So I wouldn't hesitate to give it to a new bourbon drinker. Will it always be on a bar? Ha! Huh. That is a question that I am gonna to have to answer with a no. At 70 bucks, I cannot see myself spending 70 bucks for a 100 proof product that is very fruit forward. You know, if you watch this channel long enough, you know the notes that I like in my bourbon. I like that butterscotch, I like that brown sugar. This has none of that. This is very fruit forward. I pick up a lot of grapes, plums, raisins. That's pretty much all it is. I pick up those notes in pretty much like Irish whiskey, scotches, single malt scotches. I pick up those notes in that. And by this not being a bourbon and being a 100% rye whiskey, maybe that's why uh, those notes are coming across the palate like that but this is something that will not always be on the bar. So with that being said, let the whiskey flow, never run out unless you're headed to a drop. Till next time.